Now there was a time not so very long ago where you needed all sorts of cables and adapters to get any kind of content off your mobile device and onto your big screen TV. Thankfully though, times have changed. These days there are smart TVs, streaming internet content, boxes for $50 like this Roku box, or for $100 Apple TV will give you a suite of streaming apps. Now though, there's another gate crasher to the living room streaming party, Google with its Chromecast, and it plonked itself right front and center of its rivals. At a mere $35, the Chromecast sports a diminutive price tag, matched by pretty diminutive dimensions. At two inches long, it's barely visible when you put it into one of your TV's spare high-definition inputs. Now, you do, however, need to power it up, which involves a cable, either from a USB slot inside your TV or, more likely, to a wall socket. Setup itself is pretty straightforward. You simply connect it to your Wi-Fi network with a pairing code. A couple of minutes later, the setup is all complete and you're ready to start casting. Right now, there are only a few apps available, both for iOS and for Android portable devices. Apps like YouTube, of course, a Google-owned property, as well as the film subscription service, Netflix. To start casting, it's simply a matter of tapping the icon at the top of the screen and away you go. There's a little bit of a delay, but not too much because all it's actually doing is sending a web link back up to the internet and down again to your TV so that it knows what to stream. It's unlike Apple's AirPlay, which actually streams the content directly from the mobile device itself. Also, unlike Apple's AirPlay, you can minimize the app that you're in, browse around and enjoy using the rest of your device in other ways. You need to know where you left off though, because otherwise you could find there's content playing and you're not sure which app you're in. Now for some people, the killer feature of the Chromecast might just be its ability to stream from a tab inside the Chrome web browser. Just download a little extension and you're able to throw just about anything from the web page onto your telly, from flash videos to PowerPoint presentations. All the decoding here is done locally, AirPlay style. Now, Apple aficionados will point out that you can already do this and then some on the new mirroring feature on Apple TV. You can display the entire laptop or mobile device contents directly on your TV, not just simply from a Chrome tab. Right now, of course, there are just a few apps available for the Chromecast, but that is changing rapidly as developers rush to exploit the potential offered by the new device. It's not making much in terms of profit margin for Google right now, after all, probably only a few cents on a $35 bit of hardware, but it will encourage people to download the Chrome browser and watch YouTube content, and it's yet another swipe at Apple. Do you remember the days when Google was just a search engine?